hello friends today video is about how to make a hill clean game so let's get started first of all open youtube and create new project of 2d rename hill clean click on create button oh, the use asset link is available in description you can download the asset so go import package custom pack and import this text into project so first of all move toward package manager and install 2d sprite shape i have already started so to select 2d object and create sprite shape and create sprite shape profile rename surface and choose your surface texture so i'm choosing uh, this one and go to import setting so in problem and change to full rack and warp mode to repeat select the profile and set the angle range from minus 90 to 90 it's a upper layer so select texture for upper grass and go to setting of grass and change to full rect then now set the lower layer start from minus 90 to minus 270 and choose lower layer now select sprite and click on edit spline select any point and change its position easily go to tangent mode and easily make a slope and change the angle of slope easily so now create hill clean map now select main camera and change the background color maybe like a sky it's a good now go to cloud folder and make some cloud on height Now need some wheels so select vehicle select wheel car body and wheel set position here front wheel and back wheel now select body of the player set position right here and its head and antenna of the car which available set position now select the main body of the car and add some collider like polygon collider 2d and change the name of tire front tire and back tire and order the layer sub body may minus one and the face order layer minus two it's all right now check sample picks uh, looking good same so send antenna with missing select antenna and duplicate it and change position rotate it and increase it height maybe looking good now add some collider first create a parent car beside center of the car and change the name car collide and make and make car as a parent object select all part of the car and make it child now select both tire and add wheel collider and rigid body to it now select the main car and add rigid body to it it's a car in a rigid body and add some wheel joint to four wheel 
select back tire and front tire and attach with now select the archer point into center of this tire now it's looking good now create some damp ratio maybe 0 0.3535 and frequency 3 4, 4. now play for oh, some text collider missing select the train and add polygon rider to it that's collider fit on train now click on play button and test it car move on physics now skip to you so set the frequency maybe 2 2 because it's less damping now add some collider on head because head is not loading and add capsule collider on body set the vertex it's right here and oh, again slide it's looking good here now add hang joint to the first add rigid body sets angle to deck 10 now add hang joint to the and set the point maybe neck here and add connect with rigid body main car now set some offset to 0 0.04 and 0 0.5453 it's all right please and set limit maybe minus 90 to 90 go and test it. so now it's noting with jam so look good now add some collider on tina capsule collider and set its vertex set here and now select both and add vertex and add rigid body and add hang joint 2d set point at last corner and use limit maybe minus 45 to 5 and connect with main car now test it it's nodding we jump now add some colors in our game so select universal app render pipeline and import in your package now create rendering and universal rendering pipeline asset name is light asset delete it and create 2d light asset name light and add it now go to project setting and graphics select this asset go to rendering and universal rendering pipeline and change the scene 2d render experiment Now create light to the global light I have already created. Now change intensity. You can easily change colors and make that game easily. It's looking good, my I'm setting intensity to 1.2. Now create folder for scripts. and create scripts for car the name car controller go to visual studio and write some code so first public rigid body 2d front wheel and back wheel and the rigid body of the car which go publicly and sets float variable car speed and car torque now change the function to fix update and add input input dot get axis horizontal now add some torque input multiply car speed multiply time dot fix delta time because we use in fixed update 
set the card speed maybe 50 and minus 100 card to up change to minus because move in reverse and card now add skip and rigid bodies left and go and test it input horizontal it's moving go back now looking good car move now go and create for skip camera because camera is not moving with car so create skip name camera controller and write some code for them so first get target and offset offset is in transform dot position minus offset so set the position to same as target position add some offset and create some limits because if car fall the camera remains limit now select both target of position and change both to y add some clamp and add minimum y and max now this problem is change to target or position and set it M minimum y maybe first set offset here and set max 10 and minimum minus 10. Now add a problem in collider. Go and add edge collider. Now create roof. It's linked in the description how I make this roof bridge. Sets here and maybe height change its vertex to up. Look good. Now test it. Now it's a weaving like a roof bridge now go and create another script for tiger name tiger death and open in visual studio and write some line of code first add function on tiger inter 2d and get by default input collider tool name code if collider tag may be surface or ground then the seed load maybe I'm setting a ground and make a function for weight in meter and name level restart and set some weight yeah, return return new weight for second and the weight for maybe two seconds and start call time level restart call function after that then include some new tangent or scene management in script go to scene manager and load scene name sample scene which is by default scene so go and set the tag go to add layer or add tag and create new tag name ground which we set in script so select train and add tag ground and other is roof collider or bridge add ground tag and it's still done also grounded so set ground now add script on head so select head create empty sprite and add collider which is trigger so go and set cap box collider and set its vertex and its trigger and add speed now test change its position y and then rotate now trigger enter and after 2 seconds scene log so thanks for watching please subscribe and Click on bell icon for new videos.